Hello, hello. I'm Andrew Jackson. I'm joined here by Jenny Shen, 2Pro Hi. China Chiwan. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Coatsin 2016. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? We Have got fun. some traffic driving here. Traffic? But we made it. LA traffic. I yes. Mean, come on. It's all good. Uh, so we got a game we're doing, uh, the round that just finished, I think they just wrapped up. Mark Lee uh, remains undefeated in this game against uh, Chipeng Luo. Or Luo, Luo Chipeng. Luo Chipeng. Thank you, Lao I'm sorry if my Chinese pronunciation is so bad. And it was a really interesting game. We had the, uh, we have the big Moyo and, and Mark dives in. So can you tell us about it? Can you tell us sort of what? Yeah, it's interesting you to think? you, huh? It's hard to do the commentary <laughs> because the Moyo game is very hard. What, what makes it hard? Yeah, let's look at the game. I'll uh, tell you. Can you tell me? Okay. i just tell you how I feel. Okay. So Black, Black got this, this uh, Saren say. It's very rare, actually. You know, you know, uh, Chinese opening is much more um, popular mm. than Saren say. Then, hmm. So, is this a special plan that Tanuki from here and do Saren say? Is this? Uh, yeah, I think that. Well, it's actually unclear. Well, it, it, you can do it. You don't have to do it. All okay. right. <laughs> but, but it's good to do it. So, so let's let's. Because the game is, uh, he he played on third oh, side yeah. first. He yeah. up here he first pr so he just wants to build a big moyo, and I think what what is Mark Lee? Mark Lee's uh, Mark Lee's strategy is just like uh, I let you to get the moyo as big as possible, and I took the cash as much as possible, and then I jump in and live. That's his strategy. So that that was that's what happened in this game. He seems generally happy to go along with his opponent's plans. Like, he seems very confident. He's like, oh, is that your plan? Okay, you can do that. That's fine. You know why people, you, you don't see this kind of big moyo so much, right? Mm. You know why? 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 Because it's always easier to live than oh. to kill. So if, if you're you the side to kill, that's hard. I, I don't have confidence to kill things. So. I, I heard that. I heard, uh, what is it, the sun, moon, stars opening when black pinchers here. Uh, and after white jumps in and you play the same Joseki in both corners, that it's actually uh -huh. good for white. You right? mean you mean the Sarenci? This, this happens again? If this happens again, I heard it was called, uh, what, sun, moon, and stars. And they say that it's too easy for white to live. I don't know. I, sort of I like just feel like you, y if you know what to do, uh -huh. you do it. I don't know what to do. Okay, well, if you don't know what to do, I definitely don't know what to do. Well, it's a style. I don't like that. Okay. okay. Because it's like it, there's only one way to go. You, you, you either you jump in and I kill it. It's like that. Mm -hmm. So It's all or nothing, right? It's sort of well, extreme, maybe? Yeah, too straightforward. And I don't like that style, but some people can't handle that. Some people like that. So black comes here. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this move, I think, I think one thing, what actually, if it's a Saren say, if you don't want to black to build a very big moyo, maybe what I can think about paints it from this side. Mm. The idea is to, to reduce this, this moyo. But, but he, he's just like, okay, I let you build. So, so mm. if white connect, if black connects, white is going to, Either Kusumi or it's Kusumi or, or this one, yeah. yeah. So this move it makes black heavy and also it's good for uh, invade the Saren say. So this move, yeah. So it, black comes here and uh, white goes here, right? That's, he comes here, right? And white so, says, "Okay, I'm happy to take all of the right." Cash, right? But actually, mm, actually, this looks pretty like it's it's exactly what black wants. Hmm. And after that, he played here. Which really seems to tie together well, right? Is this scary? Uh, I, I'm Mark Lee here in this case, so You're I'm Mark not Lee. very scared. But if I were Andrew, I would be pretty scared. Well, I don't know what to do if I'm black. I don't know what to do if I'm white. <laughs> That's the case. Huh. Because, so if I play the game, I, I would not get into this. <laughs> this would just, you, would, you would have changed directions yeah, Probably, I would. I would try to get the... Uh, game like get into the situation I know what to do because I feel like I feel like this move is like that it seems very like you're just floating in space out here I don't I don't know well this move is is the only move only move because otherwise why keeps jumping right after sure. after, after if, if you do if you play elsewhere why gets this jump and then I guess all of blacks moves right don't so, make sense so these moves are not Good, right? They so don't they, do anything, right? right. Yeah. This, 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 so black has to has to stop white from here. Mm. And after that, what do I do? White goes well, white, white goes, right, this move is really... Mm. 
What do I want to say? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, normally you, you think that the moyo is getting so big, right? Maybe so maybe why do we think about this kind of thing? Sort of to reduce, right? To keep a balance. Right. And this was like super greedy. It's like, and no, it's, no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to take even I'm more I'm going to take everything. And I will see, um, and after you were closing the door, I'm going to jump in a little. That's his strategy. That's why when I was looking at this game, I was like, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You sort of know what's going to happen. Well, I, I, I sort of know that it's so hard to do the commentary. <laughs> because because there's the, nothing is the, like, like after this, right? Black mm -hmm. got even got Sente. Uh, Black got this one. And then Black is closing the huge. This is, this yeah, is what he did, this right? This is a nice way to sort of continue right. here. So, you know what to do? I don't know. I, I would have no idea where to play here. I, I think this is definitely one of those sort of just, you just pick, let's see, this one looks like it's the it's most like, in the middle. I don't know, this is, this is hard. It's like you, you, you pick a stone and throw it on a board somewhere in the middle. Let's like see that. if I can hit the spot. No, all right, all right. This is, well, so, so I think Chochi Kun is, is, is very good at this kind of things. Mm. And the, he just like to let you build this moyo and then he jumps in because he's very good at the, like jumping and live. Sure, sure. But some people who are not good at that, like I'm not good at that, so I'm going to avoid it. I, I would guarantee you I'm probably worse at it here. But Mark Lee is the next Cho Chikun, so obviously. Well, he's, he's in, he has confidence. So this move, you, you see why he put this down here? Uh, he's got the connection to just get it to, he's aiming at the weaknesses here. Right, right. This is maybe the weakest part of the black wall. Right, right. So if you put it somewhere like in the middle of nowhere, some, something like this, it has no, you, you don't have any follow up, right? Mm. If, even if black ignore you, you don't know what to do next. Right. There's nothing to attack. Right. So when you jump into a big moyo, you need to, you need to uh, find a spot that you have a follow up. Uh -huh. when, when the opponent has some weakness somewhere, and you have a follow-up to attack, so this is, a, this is where he picked. That's a good maxim to remember for us amateurs. But after black jumps, we still don't see, follow, we, so we still don't see uh, how can I live here? But we can say that this is going to decide the game. Then. Yeah, that's yeah. right. This that's is the why, whole thing. That's why I, uh, from the beginning when I saw this game, I was like, well, <laughs> this is like all in. Okay. Okay. So, so now the, the stakes are clear, though. We know exactly mm. what the issues are. Right. Right. So um, the thing is that black doesn't have to kill to win, mm. but white must live. White must live. Right. So, but black doesn't have to kill to win means black has to get enough territory, like this part, this part, right? Mm -hmm. And there's still some potential. If white lives very small, somewhere very small, and still give black a lot. Right. And then black can still win. All right. So actually, for me. Um, I think it's it's probably more difficult for white, but but attacking like what I said, attacking or killing is always more difficult that than just live, living. Just look. So right. the question is, is he living big enough? And so I right. guess uh, did he succeed? I guess we should maybe look at this and find out. This is the decisive point here, or is it a little few moves down the road? Or? Well, he succeeded. <laughs> he succeeded. Um, this like this one. Uh, normally, your your feeling is here, that, like this one. But he played here, so. Um, I think his plan, this move reduces the white's liberties. So after that, black can honey mm. here. Right. And if, so we, we see that if white comes here directly, right, and you, black cuts, and then white Ataris, black comes here. So if this works, that means black cannot do it, can, right. cannot play his honey, but this doesn't work. Because of this move that takes the liberty away. Um, it has to do with that, but now black can play here, right? You can see... Right, because black can turn and, and capture? Right, because, because if black uh, doesn't reduce the liberties, mm. this will work, right? right? But black can play here to reduce the liberty. Right. Then that means white cannot kill these two stones. Right. So, so this works for black right now. Right. And so in the game, white played this push. But so far, I think black's... A, Attacking, it looks pretty good, actually. It He's looks, making enough points? Right. Because, because why didn't get into the main territory Black is building? It's the still fourth-line so territory. It's still here, right? right? And there's still a big potential on the outside. So up to now, my feeling was it look, looks pretty good 
for black. Mm -hmm. And but of course, this is, is it's it's still very very hard to say, right? And it's all depends on white skill. To how how do you <laughs> how do you attack black's weakness? But there's one obvious weakness, is this one. Is that right? one? Right. So so you see that black has this, this shortage, shortage of liberty problem. So white played this attach. This is a very good move. Hmm. If if white if black doesn't defend attack from the outside, for example, something like this, then he can fix all the problems here. Um, but I think he doesn't like white going to the outside, something like this. The white's very comfortable now. Right, so white can't have a... Especially um, white is reducing all the... Maybe white aims at, at attacking these two stones? Right, white, white is reducing all the potential here, and black only gets a small territory. That's not enough. Got it. So black cannot just build this one. Because white, you, you see white already has four corners, right? Mm -hmm. And just this one territory is not big enough. Right. So he must do something. Uh, this looks like a very good move. But after that, the game started to... Go bad for him? Um, so this is a good move. This, this move attacks black's uh, weakness, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but in the game, black played here. Um, and then white blocks. And then black Ataris. So, so this is, this you cannot expect white is gonna connect. No, of course not. I mean, white is not gonna, gonna connect this. because if white connects, so black can, black fixes this side or this side. Uh, you cannot do, you cannot play here. There's a cut, right? So there's still you can see the weakness. It's mm -hmm. pretty bad. Like black cannot even fix the problem here, right? And not here, right? Has to be inside. That means the, the shortage of liberty problem is already bad. It's still there, right? right. And but 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 for example, black fix it here. Which one is better? And th this white white group is still very heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. So so white is not going to connect for sure. Uh, white white plays this call. So so why why can white play this call? It's because he's running right, and he's a, the call is attacking black's weakness. Right. And white is running. So every move he plays, he's running out. It can be a co-threat. Right, a toe threat yeah. Right. It's so, unwinnable for black. How right. can black fight a co like this? Right. So black can never win this co. Right. You, you know this one. So I, I was wondering that at this point, I was wondering if black can push. What will happen? Um, this is the first feeling, right? And after that, black pushes again. I don't, I don't know if this works. <laughs> and what well, black Ataris. So right now, white has to, if white runs, um, He's aiming here still. Right? right. So now we fix it. Where, where, we should we fix? Let's say we, we fix it here, and mm. then, and then this, this black white cannot go from here. If white goes from here, black can Atari from the outside. Even if white can live here, white cannot afford to lose this one. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is, this is possible, but but like this one here maybe better. This is possible, but still. It's pretty hard. I, I think it's because after that, white connects, black black fix this this cut. But the good thing to see is that white has two grooves. Right. So there's a there's especially there's there's center moves in the corner. So before, white has this kind of center moves. Before white has to live with just one group. Now white right. has to live with two groups. Right. So his problems have doubled. Well, if I saw the result, mm. I would pick this one. Uh huh. <laughs> and if white knows what's going to happen. Right. right. Because the hard, the difficult part is that you, you don't, you, you, you thought this one looks okay. And, and then it turned out to be, let, we, we will see it later. Mm. And it doesn't work so well. And then you figure out, okay, maybe this one, I should pick this one. But when you're playing the game, this is a difficult It's hard to make hard that to choice. Tr right. Yeah, yeah. right. So this was maybe the pivotal moment how black replied to this attachment. Yeah, I think that this this one is straightforward, and it's the first feeling. I'm sure he thought about it, mm. and but but he probably thought the other one is okay. But now I think I will. I, I think you would, this one. You would choose this one. Yeah, I would choose this one because now this this stone because white cannot push out from here you see without that? hurting right. the other group. Right. This, this doesn't work. This doesn't hurt black. Got it. And if white Atari is from this side, you see this stone is at a good place attacking. Got it. Right. Ended up on the vital point. Right. Wonderful. So I think black should should have should have resisted. Right. Should have okay. think about this one and and maybe pick this one. All right. Thanks, Jenny. Appreciate it. All right. So if you want to see that how this fight turned out, as it turns out, uh, spoiler alert: Markley won the game, which means he lived. 
But if you want to see how, you should check out the game record. It's going to be on our website. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much for doing commentary with us. This is uh, you don't want to see a little bit more, like uh, just a few moves, and see how did it get out? Uh, I would love to, <laughs> but we're getting a, a hurry up signal here from the, the offstage folks. So if you want to see it, okay. you should go to the website, check out the game record, usgo.org. Thanks, Jenny. Really appreciate having you. Thank you.